What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another video, and this is on how to run PS4 game backups as the full version of the game. Now you're probably wondering, what do I mean by full version of the game? Well, there has been a lot of stuff happening in the PS4 community, and if you haven't been following, we have been able to run PlayStation 4 backups on our PlayStation 4 176 console. So this is some quite big news and will hopefully lead to some potential homebrew on our PlayStation 4s. So like I said, you can run PlayStation 4 backups and there are also some PlayStation 4 backups that are trial or demos of the game and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to run the trial slash demo backup of the game and turn it into the full version. So I just want to give a big shout out to everyone that's been contributing to this. Credits to Zeratron, he has been helping me out a bunch in the past couple of days to get some stuff working. 0x199 and ZicoXAO and obviously everyone else that has been helping in the community. So in order to do this you are going to need a few requirements. Obviously a 176 PlayStation 4 console. You're also going to need a game on disc that is compatible with the 176 firmware. Now if we click the button that says resources on this website, you can see that there are six games compatible to do this. GTA 5, Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts, Drive Club, Infamous Second Son and Destiny. We have the US payloads and we also have the EU payloads. So I really appreciate that we also have different regions. So if you don't own one of these games, then you may or may not be able to do this hopefully this list will be updated in the near future so keep checking the link in the description and you may have a different 176 game that might not be compatible now but in the near future might actually be added to this list so you can actually run the game so in this tutorial i'm going to be using the eu version of gta 5 so all i would want to do here is click on this link and download the payload we're also going to be using netcat socat for windows we're going to also be using the elf loader now i'm going to be using minecraft a trial version as the backup on this tutorial just because it's quite small and I can transfer it through FTP very very quickly. So once we have everything downloaded again everything is in the description below so be sure to download everything before you start this tutorial. The next thing we're going to want to do is head over to our console. What we're going to want to do from here is simply open the web browser and access a PS4 playground of your choice. I am using f-xr.fr you can use extremes playground or any other playground of your choice and we're simply going to be loading FTP. So I'm going to hit on X and let it load the FTP. Once we've initialized the FTP server we can go ahead and press the PlayStation button. Now what we want to do on our computer is simply access a FTP client of your choice. I'm going to be using FileZilla as I've been using this forever and it's pretty easy to use. Simply connect to your PlayStation 4 and you'll see a bunch of directories. Now the directory we're looking for is data so simply go inside of this folder. Once inside of this folder we're going to be putting our game back up in here. Now you may see two folders here and think well what are these? These are nothing. These are just something that I've been messing with. So if you don't actually have any directories in here that is completely normal. So what I'm going to do is grab the backup of my game and simply drag and drop it inside of the data directory. Now as I said I'm using the Minecraft trial game and it's relatively small and you can see that it's nearly done already. Once the game backup is inside what we're going to do is change the title ID. So I'm using GTA 5 as my disk and you'll know that the GTA 5 title ID is CUSA 00411. So what I'm going to do is simply rename this file and copy the title ID of GTA 5 or whichever disk you're going to be using. Go over to the folder and simply rename this to the title ID. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and close FTP and we're going to want to turn our PlayStation 4 console off to refresh its memory. Once you have rebooted your console, we're now going to initialize the Elf Loader. Now I did make a previous tutorial on how to set this up. So if you do want a in-depth video on how to set up the Elf Loader, be sure to watch my previous video. So all I'm doing here is simply opening the server so that I can access the elf loader. Again, be sure to watch my other video if you don't know how to do this already. Once we have the elf loader up and running, we can minimize this as we won't be needing this anymore. And we're now going to extract netcat and socat for windows. Go inside of the socat directory and we'll see a bunch of files. What we're going to do is place the file for your disk inside of this directory because we're going to be sending it using socat through the elf loader. Once placed inside, we're going to open this with command prompt. 
and we can now be prepared to send the payload. Now all you want to do on your console is simply head over to where your ELF loader is hosted. If you are using it locally on your machine, then obviously type in the local IP, or if you are using it on a actual playground, then simply load the playground and load the ELF loader. Once the ELF loader has reached stage five on your console, all we're going to want to do is simply send the payload. So it's socat-u, then the file of your choice, and then your IP address along with the corresponding port. Hit enter and you might get an error this is completely fine and we have now sent the payload now the reason for us downloading netcat is so we can actually see if it's been initialized or not so if we go ahead in this directory you'll see a bat file simply edit this bat file and type in the ip for your playstation console hit save and we can now open the bat file once we open it you can see we have a bunch of commands and lots of different offsets that's how you know that the payload has been sent correctly so on your console we're going to hit the playstation button and now we're going to load g GTA 5. So again, this is the disk of GTA 5. So you're probably going to think, well, what the hell is going on? It's loading GTA 5. Well, that's what I thought at first, but it actually loads Minecraft straight after the cutscene, as you can see here, Mojang YJ Studios. So there you have it. And again, it's not the trial version of the game. As you can see at the bottom, it says Microsoft Store. If it was the trial version of the game, it would say unlock for game. So this is pretty cool indeed. So I'm going to continue playing offline and you can see I still have my new world saved from the previous time I played it so saved games also do work as well so that is pretty much it guys hopefully we'll see some new backups and some new games to be able to run this on I hope I've helped in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one peace